it's the end. And especially, well, at any time, teaching calculus in college is weird because most of you will never use the specific things that we learned in this class ever again. And so it's a little bit strange. I feel a little bit strange saying to you or any students, oh, it's so important that you, you know, you learn how to do this integral, you learn this technique, you learn this thing because it's not going to be, you're not going to use it. Um, and especially in a pandemic, you might wonder like, why are we doing this? Um, and some actually, nicely though, some of you are using it. Um, Ellie has said ways that she's going to use it in physics and other students have said it how they use these things in economics. And so that's kind of cool when you actually do see using it. But I just wanted to point out that um, you're at a liberal arts college. And so most of the things that you learn aren't actually intended to be things that you're going to apply in real life. So um, Plato's original several, seven liberal arts were grammar, rhetoric, logic, geometry, arithmetic, music, and astronomy, of which arguably three out of the seven are mathematics. So these are the liberal arts and studying mathematics is really part of a liberal arts degree. So we study them not because we're going to apply them, but because they're interesting. Um, I personally think that a very funny story that happened in my life is that, as you may know, there's a faculty lunch almost every Wednesday where the faculty talk to each other about their research. And one week, there was a professor from the Department of Theater and Dance who talked about how they um, did choreography for a dance that, ex that um, interpreted the rhyme of the ancient mariner. And then the following week, I gave a talk about billiards. And only one of us was asked, what is the purpose and how, what are the applications of your work? Um, <laughs> so anyway, the, the idea here is that both of those things, theater and dance and mathematics, we study because they're beautiful and interesting. And I hope that you take that away from this class. And the other thing is um, some things that you could take away from a liberal arts education. One is to question other people's assertions. So in this class, you learn to question other people's assertions like, um, does that need to be a univector? You would say like, wait, are you sure? Does that need to be a univector? Are you sure, does it, I think it does, I'm not sure it does. And then you'd have to think really hard about like, well, why would it need to be a univector? Why would it not be a univector? And in real life, um, there might be, somebody might be saying, well, you might have a, a question like, um, should we include these people? Like someone is saying, oh no, I don't think we need to include that, those people in the thing that we're doing. And I hope that you would bring these skills forward and say like, wait, are you sure? Like, should we include them? Should we not include them? Is it important? Is it not important? Right? So these, these skills are, more, are broad, are, have broad applicability in life. And then the other thing is um, to make your head an interesting place to be. So having an, an interesting inner life. Um, this is something that is really relevant to us this semester with all of us sort of being in our own little boxes. Um, so uh, thinking up your own questions and end goals. Um, that's, that's part of a liberal arts education and I hope that's something that you've found in this class. Uh, you know, occasionally you, you look at the problem that I've given you and you think, well, but what about this? Well, could I do it this way? The hint says to do it this way, but I'd like to do it that way. And then you go and run with it. And that's wonderful. So uh, with that, you are all so wonderful. And I have been truly very grateful to be able to get to know each of you and to have you um, in class and to get to know you. So thank you so much for a wonderful semester and for all the good work that you've put in.